Welcome back here to Factory 5. Uh, today we're going to be putting on the rear brake assembly from Willwood if you ordered that as an option with your kit. Now that everything's unpacked and out of the boxes, first thing we have to do is assemble the axle mounting bracket to the caliper mounting bracket. So we're going to go ahead, find those two bolts, put that together, and tighten those down. Once that's all set, we're going to go ahead and take that whole assembly, mount it on the bottom side of the axle, lining up the four holes with the four bolt flange that's welded to our axle tube. Go ahead, put those in, tighten them up. You can go ahead and feel free to use a dab of Loctite if you want as well. Now once that's set, we're going to go ahead and mount the rotor onto the hub assembly. Now take note, Willwood does include a axle centering ring that may need to be used depending on what axles you have on your car. Once that's in and you have your rotor installed, take a lug nut, thread that on to hold the rotor in place. Now with that all set, we're going to go ahead and assemble the caliper to the caliper slide bracket. We'll put the two bolts through, tighten those up, again using Loctite if you wish. With that now in place, we're going to go ahead, take our pads, install them in, making sure that the clips are securely against the calipers. After that, we'll install the caliper onto the axle flange and tighten that down. From there, your Willard brakes are now installed and everything's ready to go. See you next time.